Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I've got some exciting news today. One, I've already done the giveaway, so that is all done and dusted. There are new giveaways coming. The winner would be informed via his email address. Just to let you know guys, there are certain terms and conditions to the giveaway, so just do read that. Secondly, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing because I'll be posting more videos. And third, we have a new unboxing which I've already done but I'm gonna show you what it is I was looking for an Android phone and I did my research and I found out that I had Samsung as an option I was thinking to get another phone which would not be a Samsung because they are one uh, very expensive and two I just wanted a change to see if there is something else in the market as I've always been using the iPhone so I have my iPhone 11 over here it's it's been a brilliant device I enjoy it so after doing my research I found out uh, that I would want to go for a device called Honor this device from Huawei is going to be a perfect device so I've got this uh, device over here and I've already unboxed it but I'm going to show you what comes in the box it's a brilliant phone it's got uh, a lot of very heavy specs which I'm just gonna run uh, through it in a bit and I'm really enjoying it without any delay let's get into it and let's see what comes in the box and uh, what is this phone all about so the Honor 20 comes with a headset a user manual the UK charger and the kit itself so let's go ahead and look at the charger. So the charger is a supercharger and one side it's got the USB uh, type connector which you can connect the cable which comes along and the other side is, is obviously a UK plug because this is a UK phone. Uh, then we have the SIM card tray. So the SIM card tray is a bit different than the Samsung SIM card tray because this only supports two SIM cards. So if you're traveling the world, you can always use two SIMs and uh, you can feel free uh, to uh, actually switch between them. Then we have the warranty card. Now, this is not really a card. It's like a manual and uh, it's, you know, it's got some information, some general information about the warranty of the product. And then we have the Honor 20 user guide, user manual, whatever you may call it. It's really thick. I really doubt if anybody is going to be interested in reading this manual. Then we have the headset. The headset looks pretty much like the Apple AirPods and not the AirPods, but the ones which are connected to the wire. Uh, they're similar in shape and color and even the material of the cables. And on one end, you have the USB-C connector because Honor 20 supports USB-C and that's it. And then we have the phone itself. Now, the first impression, what I got of the phone is that I just feel that the phone is brilliant. This Honor 20 is According to the price, I think it's really good value for money. Uh, on the front, obviously, you have the 32 megapixel selfie camera. On the rear, you have three different cameras. And then fourth, you have the depth sensing camera. The main camera is a 48 megapixel Sony IMX586, which has an aperture of 1.8. Then you have the AI ultra clarity mode, and you have the half inch large regular sensor inside. And it's got four in one light fusion, uh, and you have AIS super night mode. Now, I know that's a lot of information, but that's what the 48 megapixel camera supports. And then you have the 16 megapixel camera as well. On the side, you have the fingerprint sensor, uh, which uh, by just touching it, you can unlock your phone. And I really feel that it is super fast. So on the top, you have the power button. Uh, the display is really bright. I really feel that uh, it's very near to any any best phone like you know any of the expensive phones like uh, Samsung on the top you have some sort of uh, IR sensor and you have a, a small hole which I think it's for a microphone so uh, just for noise reduction but yeah the front camera shows on the top right uh, sorry top left which is um, which which is you know it's like but it's a punch hole camera which they call on the left you have the sim card uh, uh, tray where you can insert the sim card so that's the slot for the sim card tray and uh, which easily actually self locks it i'm not sure if this is a waterproof phone i don't really think so it is and uh, let's take the sim card tray and insert it in so 
here we go guys i'm just going to insert the sim card tray in and show you guys so that's it very simple that slides into it so if you're using two sim cards that'll be really good fun on the bottom you have a usb port uh, on the right side you have the speaker cut out and on the left you have the microphone hole so uh, that's what it is on the bottom and there are these antenna bands which you can see so that's it guys and i feel that the circular pattern is a really nice it's just like an iphone to be honest lots of uh, i wouldn't say they have copied the iphone or iphone has copied them but it's just a generic design in the market which everybody really enjoys the back is blue and it's got this really nice midnight color and uh again going uh, into the feel of the phone i really feel that the phone is made out of excellent quality materials i think it's aluminum or aluminium whatever you call it and um, the 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 speed of the applications the uh, the responsiveness is absolutely brilliant um, in terms of the operating system so it comes with the magic ui right now i've got the magic ui emui 9 which is equivalent to android 9 and i'll be upgrading the phone to android 10 which is em ui 10 and i'm going to make a separate video of that but in terms of its uh, functionality the software wise i think it's second to none so guys this really concludes my video of uh, the honor 10 i mean uh, i'm really enjoying the phone i'm going to do another video of course as i said of its um of the software upgrade and i would love you guys to stay tuned with that because that is going to be one of the major videos and uh, the the uh, i mean i would really would want to see that uh what's the real difference in android 9 and android 10 because they say it does support dark mode and if it does let's see how that really looks like but in terms of the phone itself uh, yes it's just amazing guys just let you know that this is a 4g phone it's not a 5g phone it's got uh, uh, the B, the Bluetooth is uh, 5 and the USB is 2 uh, so that's just the connectivity side of things but in the the flagship thing of this phone is is the front uh, camera which is the 32 megapixel selfie camera which is f 2.0 which I just told you and the rear cameras are 48 megapixel 16 megapixel and 2 megapixel and another 2 megapixel macro camera so that is the camera definition and in terms of its um, height and like diagonally it's 6.26 inches which is a 2340 by 1080p um, display and it's 412 ppi with 16.7 million colors as you can see it's the, the colors are very vibrant and very bright and in terms of its height in millimeters it's 15 point uh, so sorry it's a uh, 154.25 millimeters tall and 73.97 millimeters wide and it approximately weighs 174 grams which is a very light phone if you compare it with an iphone so iphone is much more heavier and the internals are it's got 6 gb ram of course side mounted fingerprint uh, scanner the rom is 128 gb which is the internal memory so you can't uh, extend the memory of this phone but the inbuilt memory is 128 which which is quite large in terms of uh, storage size and it does uh, and it does carry the 7 nanometer Kirin 980 AI chipset with dual NPU uh, which is the key behind its uh, top performance so guys uh, this was my video uh, for the Honor 20 I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you are planning to buy the Honor 20 uh, and if you have any questions uh, just let me know um, and also, if you are planning to buy a Samsung instead of uh, the Honor or Huawei series of phones, do let me know. And I hope you found this video helpful because the thing is that my only reason to make this video was to give you guys an insight that, you know, a phone costing 100 and, uh, 180 pounds uh, in, say, as a second hand phone and as compared it with the Samsung, which is, say, 800 or 900 pounds or 600 pounds, I think that this phone really does the job so guys that concludes my video and i hope you liked it and leave the thumbs up if you want to and then do subscribe to my channel and i'll be posting other videos so guys 
Catch you later and bye for now. Thank you.